Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today we are in the beautiful Busquet Woodlands or Gardens. Um, here we have one of the largest um, woodlands here in Malta and here it was built as part of the Verdala Palace by the Knights in 1586 I think as a hunting ground for uh, for the palace. Eh? We're going to start first going this way. Eh? So we do all the way around. Here, I remind you, this is a national park. Here you have all the rules. There are no bicycles, no litter, no camping, no fires, barbecues, uh, no rubber walls, clean after your dog. The, the dog has to have a leash. Do not disturb any wildlife, as you expect. So it will be this pristine. And here, uh, how nice this area is. Eh? When one comes here, one can download the PDF uh, map of this area, so one can visit uh, all the the features of this uh, area. But mostly, one will come for uh, places like this, so you can walk, and you hear the birds and the nice places. Here. And here we even have some some uh, uh, signs. Here, Irratset Talbosk. So we we'll start walking this way. From here up there, one can see the Verdala Palace. Eh? Today is a little bit cloudy, as you can see. Hope it doesn't rain on me like last time. But if it does, I have my rain jacket. Always be prepared. Uh, I think like me, many people who are not so young uh, have many nice memories because when we were young, our parents used to bring us here for picnics, which uh, I really enjoyed, it was that healthy uh, fun that we used to do when we were young. From here I can better have a look of the Berdala Palace, let me show you better. Hopefully like this one can have a better view of the Verdala Palace eh? on top of the hill. It's a beautiful, uh, it's a very very beautiful castle. Eh? And Oh, down here we have like a small farm. Let's see what it is here. Uh, this is, I think, the project of the NKNK, Project Barbajan. They uh, raised the Barbajan so it can be released into the woodlands here. Look, we have some chickens here. Yes, it's for the FKNK era. The photos are amazing. Eh? We have to keep quiet because barn owls nesting eh? here. Yeah. So let's continue our adventure. These are some of the views we can get here. Are lots of greens. It's like a small forest. And up here, look how beautiful these. Uh, Cliffs are, but let's continue exploring this uh, road. It's a very beautiful area. When the palace is where you go, or imagine from up there how beautiful the view is. Eh? Some benches are where can can rest and maybe make a small picnic. Milan walking on this spot here, and here we find dangerous spot. Proceed with caution, and this means that all up here have to pass from this side because it means it's more interesting. Yeah, let's have a look. It's more off road here. It looks like a very old road, but how how nice it is this passageway. It's very slippery today, and up there I'm seeing there as if. There is a cave, eh? so I have to go and check. There are some parts that we can, one can dig here. When walking these places, try to keep to established parts or parts that they were already done, so we don't do damage to the to the habitat here. Eh? Now I'm trying to make my way to that cave. But I don't think 
Let's check up here. Maybe here. I can pass. But it's going to be a little bit hard. Up. I got stuck with the backpack. But there's like a part here. Yeah. There is a path I'm going up, but it's too bro, a little bit challenging and very slippery. Like, I think they find the path, but it's very steep and very slippery. And filming is a little bit challenging. As I say many times, Sarah, the more up you go, the more beautiful the views get, Sarah. So from down there, I saw that cave there, and I'm going to explore it. Uh, even here, look how nice it is. It's just some creeks, but here I think we can explore that cave. Eh? Let's go. I found that cave uh, that I saw from down there. I think it will be a little bit challenging to go up, but we still can try to have a look. Eh? It's very interesting here, as it is the view. Now I climbed up to this small cave area. It's really, really small cave, so it's not worth it to continue to climb, because here to climb, I had to do some climbing, yeah? From this small cave area. I can make myself down back, and I have to take great care, because it's very, very slippery, yeah? I made my way down here, it was a little bit treacherous. This is where I come from, and I'm going to check this side up. Eh? So I don't stay always in the, on the road and check where this track leads me. Eh? The road is just here, passing here. But here is more interesting. Eh? And always, when you go to these places, take care and see all limitations, eh? because here it's a little bit slippery. But uh, one can easily walk the road there, and it's very nice as well. Seeing these places here and this view, although our is very tiny, remind me of the videos of backpacking with Jason. Eh? Go to visit him, he is from the US, he makes very nice videos. I like his videos, they are down to earth and lots of fun. Eh? And now I'm feeling hot. Eh? Here we have a building, so I try to check this out. Look how beautiful this area is, eh? But first I will go to check this building. Here is locked there. It could be Talbosk farmhouse, eh? Look how nice it is. Eh? Or it could be a private residence as well, I don't know. So we continue exploring this beautiful... Uh, could it be a forest? I don't know. I don't know if a forest could be small or big. But it's beautiful here. Here it's much, much beautiful than the other part. I was from the road. Maybe there is an easier way out to come here. When you come to here, do you visit this upper part? Or you just stay in the more common parts? Look. This is why many regulations are done, Ara. Tell me who's going to get all this rubbish from here. Eh? If you people use the leave no trace uh, as principle, which means you leave the place as you find it. Maybe here, even camping will be allowed. Maybe not uh, making fire, you have to use a gas stove. But imagine I can come camping here. And as it is, I leave it. It will be a very nice place to 
to enjoy and even if you come camping here imagine if you go with your family here and with your kids and it's full of rubbish but you still come here to enjoy and somebody does not play by the rules but the problem especially is these cans here please don't do these things because then they will make more rules and we will suffer from them it's a very beautiful area here And today many of these areas are for myself, I'm alone here. I think that one can have an infinite way to explore this area. Because people, you can go down here, you can move from here. And then now I'm finding a path. Because I intend to continue where I left. But look how nice this area is. Here we reach the far end of the Busquet woodlands. And what I can see are here. One, two. They are like cart ruts. But maybe here they could have been done with uh, carriages, but I don't know. Could be like the famous cart ruts these are. So now we have to backtrack because here there is a gate. Eh? So we go that way and start going down to the road as we are before. But look at the view again. Eh? You see half of Malta from here. It's amazing. Well, I will try to make my way down from here. This is not the normal path people take. To, but I'm trying to explore as much as possible these woodlands. In fact, if you see, it's a little bit. Uh, how you say, not challenging a lot, but you have to take care of it because it's slippery. Now I will take the camera off, so I continue going down, hopefully to the road again. But look, this, how tight this uh, forest is, or these trees are. Now I will keep my mouth a little bit shut, so we can hear the birds. Eh? I never heard so many birds at the same time, and nice egg, nice song. Now I have to go down again, but there's like a small stress here. If I can take some care, I think it can be easily done. It's very nice here. Yeah. Imagine if I'm allowed camping. Yeah. Isn't this the perfect spot? Yeah. How beautiful it is here. Yeah. And hope I can still continue making my way down, uh, down this spot so I reach the road again. Look how beautiful this area is. Yeah. And it's different from what I'm used to go because there isn't any trees in Malta or very few. Normally I'm on top of the cliffs. You can see the sea. Maybe that's why I'm so surprised to hear so many birds. Oh. As you can see, at every part, you have to go down these very slippery slopes. Eh? Now I made it down that slope, or from up there, slowly, slowly, because it's very slippery. And we are here, eh? and hope I find a path to the road now. Because I wish to show you the more conventional part of this area as well. I think I'm here. I can go down again and maybe the road is very close by. I made my way down to the road, but I will try to find somewhere a little bit more safe to go down because it's a little bit high to jump. Especially I'm not good at jumping. But till now, I cannot complain. This area is very beautiful. Even if you're uh, young and you want to study, I think these places are perfect. Eh? Nobody to, to annoy you. And me. you just hear the birds and concentrate. Eh? I found a path that leads to the road. Eh? And I don't have to jump. And it was. 
which is much safer. And here, as you can see, is the limit of this part. So I have to go back on this side and continue exploring this beautiful uh, um, woodland. Eh? We are at the part again. Eh? As you can see, we have many, many people uh, enjoying themselves here. And I know that group that passed, they were about 30 people. Uh, some of them, they are a little bit high in age, but the, the most important thing, as I say many times, is not the age, that these people are here, enjoying themselves, trekking, and uh, the, play, the pace they were doing, I think some of them, they were better than mine, eh? so big well done. Eh? And this is the perfect way to stay healthy, because you stay healthy physically, although I cannot preach a lot about physical health, and mentally as well. Eh? And these people are doing the best thing they can do. Eh? Big well done. Eh? I really like seeing people, and I just hope that when I'm their age, which is not that far away, eh? but there is a little bit, I will still be active like they are. Eh? It's a very, very good example how you should live your life between the trees again but the sound of the birds is awesome here it's amazing how many birds there are here and with the you can see the verdala palace it's a very beautiful walk eh? and it's suitable for anybody as you saw before i didn't make any close-ups because for their privacy but look how beautiful this walk is one can find these three tunnels are how nice there So what I will do, I think, I will turn this side, so maybe I go down inside the valley. Eh? Oh. This part of the trail, which is exactly under the road, is suitable for anybody, for all the family, for all the ages. It's beautiful. Look at these streets here. Huh? It's a lot quiet, lots of birds. I think one of the best ways to uh, relax your mind. Eh? We made it to near the Razzetta Albal, it's called. Here, uh, this road, if you go up here and go turn up the hill, we, and just 100 meters, you end up where I started the vlog. Uh, and here, there is this, like an aqua Look how nice it is here uh, for the water. This very old, that this is a bridge. Uh, we're going to go inside the valley now, where I wish to go. So my plan is after I come from here, then we go around here and we end up in the parking again. So let's continue here. It will be a little bit dark, but it's nice. And hopefully we find some running water as well. Look. Not usual, eh? you find running water here in Malta. And here it's telling us don't play with the frogs, don't catch, don't nothing. Leave everything where it is and their natural habitat. Look how much running water one can find. Look. And here, what can even here? A small water for it. Imagine this part is part of the valley. So coming here when it's rainy is not advisable because there might be a lot of water. And here, if we look around, we can even spot maybe a frog. Eh? I take care because I don't want to slip. And uh, the more late you come here, although it's still nice, the light, it can be dark eh, because of the trees. Look at those trees there. Eh? And we have running water. You want to relax? 
Here's the cancer. It's like something abandoned that way, as usual. Have to check this out. Eh? Let's see what we find here. It's strange. And door, metal doors are, but doesn't lead to anything. Eh? So let's continue enjoying the beautiful. It's a pity, yeah. Here it's like this, in such a beautiful place. Eh? Let's continue enjoying the countryside. Eh? Let's check a little bit here as well. Look how beautiful this area is, are full of logs. One can come here, sit on a log, enjoy a picnic. It's very interesting, yeah? Yeah, can crude and beautiful. But let's continue following the water stream to see where we end up. I have to give a shout out as usual to Englishman because he came two to three times so I don't know how many times here yeah? and he said he got lost although he knows this place better than me and Angelo, Angelo found a nice cave yeah, here Angelo Caruana go to follow them uh, but I didn't find that cave till now it's nice yeah, here here is very popular in the weekends uh, with families and uh, young ones. They come here to relax. The arch in front of me, uh, they use it a lot in photo shoots, maybe, which maybe even me sometimes I use here for photo shoots. It's a very nice area, but it's very slippery. Take care coming here. But this part here, as well like the other one, it can be done by everybody, yeah? So, and uh, what I can see here, it's a little bit wet, eh? Look at uh, this arch. How oh, nice it is, uh, with water still running, uh, and here crosses the road. So I have to take some care not to slip. Now here we have the water running around from a different location, from two places. And here it looks that there's something. Yeah? Let's go to check this out. Yeah? I don't know what it is. It's like a concrete circular uh, with water flowing out. Yeah? No, no idea. Well, here I have to take great care because it's super slippery again. There's a lot of mud there eh? and I don't want to slip and then in the water. It's not small, eh? I have to go around everywhere here and I'm sure that I'm missing somewhere, eh? but I think I've gone all the, all the angles you can go in this park. It's very nice in my all these trees. If I find them, I will try to post a couple of pictures. They are a little bit funny. Eh? When I came here with Sherin, eh? when Sherin was trying to convince me to smart diet and start walking, eh? but shh, don't let her know, because then she will say, it's me, it's me, it's me. We have reached the end of this part. I will have some bins to throw your stuff. Uh, I don't know if we can continue walking more here, but let's check, because we are going inside the valley. It's very nice here eh, to come. Although with all the water here, I don't think people will stay a lot here. 
But I think I'm here. The path may continue, let's check. But it's very, very muddy eh? and slippery. Let's check here. I think till here is enough in the park, eh? because down there is full of water. And now I will make my way back and show you a couple more places. Eh? But I think we nearly made the all. Look how nice the colors of this tree, all yellow. Eh? And now I will make my way back and continue where we have to change direction again. Because here, look, there's a lot of mud eh? and I don't want to slip. Now I have reached this double arch again now, and I'm going through to the other location. Nice, huh? Well, now we are back from the bottom of the valley. This is where we came out. Up there is where we started, where there's like this aqueduct or these arches. And now we go to see this place here. Uh, Going here, you can find even a public toilet, which one can use, which is very convenient for the family. So go here, that we have come from here. One can take this path and end up uh, in the lower gate of uh, uh, Verda La Pelis. Here, there is some nice uh, picnic area with tables, uh, bins, so on. Can come here and enjoy with his family. Look how nice it is. Well, very nice, huh? And if you continue here, here is full of uh, orange trees, huh? Look how beautiful uh, these parts are and how accessible and uh, safe they are. Here uh, they are full of oranges. May I remind you that from here, you cannot pick anything, no oranges, no nothing, yeah? so take care. How nice it is. Hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog of today. I really enjoyed it for sure. Many times I come to places and I think we are, uh, it's not that bad. But I have to say that I enjoyed today, especially up there and down here. It was very nice. And uh, here one can find something that suits his state, either adventurous or more relaxing, or either come with his partner or his family and can stay relaxed in a uh, bench like this. So there is for everybody. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be helping me. Uh, if you share this video, it will be a bonus. Your comments are always worthy, uh, welcome because I can learn from here. Then, until next time, bye bye.